What's up, it's your boy Johnny Shreve, I'm BB Pro and Visit Like It Is. Welcome back to the episode of Chain With Me. Today we're again, we're at O2 Wellness and we're gonna bring you a really difficult leg day. Your basic traditional leg day, but we're gonna take the volume up a notch. 15 reps max until you can't do 15 reps anymore. So we're gonna increase the load, continue to have good form, but then we're gonna challenge our overall volume, 15 reps max with good controlled reps. So I'm gonna go through this right now, starting off with squats, and from there we're gonna get into presses, lunges, hack squats, the works. Let's get nasty. Enjoy. I think I have to go higher than that. So we got three plates. So this is when I start wearing a belt. The longer I'm gonna be holding something on my spine, the more I want a little extra or stabilization. So I'm not, taking, I'm not taking anything out of my core, I'm engaging it more, but having something wrapped around even tighter. So if you actually go like this with your hands, you, you, know, you push out or cough, you'll feel this part and your back, your lower back contract at the same time. So if you strain, the same thing, it actually goes out. Same as way as you like flex your bicep and expands. When you flex your core, it expands out, right? So when you have a belt on, that's the whole point, is the belt's supposed to make it tighter while you engage your core straight through so it gives you a lot much more support. I feel that bad. My internal rotation, external rotation is any better, that's for sure. Don't know what my butt looks like at the bottom, but I feel more room down there. So, yes, I'm taking EAAs. And yes, this is advertised as a hydrated, hydrate. Basically like, get your hydration in type thing. Um, do I believe you need BCAs? No. EAAs, yes, they definitely do help for people who are doing intermittent fasting or whatever. Um, like that, like spending lots of period of time without eating, fasted periods, whatever, I think it's good. EAAs, BCAs, kind of useless. But again, from here, I'm literally using this to flavor my water. Dead serious, it's, I'm being honest. It's the only reason why I like those of you people out there who have a hard time drinking water, I'm not saying overdose on using this all the time, but like if you need to get a good amount in, like me sometimes, like this, I'm gonna sweeten it up a bit. Cause to me water is so boring, but you gotta get it in. 
I hate the video part when you watch somebody like drink. No one looks good drinking. And if they do, you know they're faking. This is really good though. If you're actually interested in any kosher in LA, DM me or email me right away. We'll give you guys details so you can actually be a part of coaching up series as well too. So check it out, email me. We're gonna leg press next. We're gonna go to the half hack. We're gonna push um, pretty heavy and pretty long. We're heavy and long. We're gonna press a lot of reps. I'm gonna press a lot of reps, a lot of weight. So let's go over there now. Okay, so we're gonna press here. So again, 15 reps, calibrated plates on here. And when we're talking this, you will not get any glute, anything. So if any of your coaches send you to the leg press to hit your glutes, you're not hitting your glutes. Your glutes help with hip extension. So in order for my glutes to work here, my entire body needs to be straight. And it's not, my hips are still here. They need to be open right up. So it doesn't matter where I put my feet. If I put my feet here, yes, hamstrings, whatever. If they're wider, I'm gonna use some abductors in a sense. Pour emphasis on that and that there. If I put them back more, obviously the further back, the more reflection I get, the a lot more range of motion they get throughout, which you want. But again, for glutes, like I, no matter how much I try and press, and I can't do anything with my glutes right now. It needs to extend all the way. I need to do a hip extension at the top, which would be fucking, can you imagine doing that? Boom, snap, and I snap this way. Good. <laughs> anyway, those are your tips. So I'm gonna take a stance, a little outside shoulder apart, toes pointed a tiny little bit. Reason my shoes are on is because I'm too lazy, I don't wanna take them off. So I'm not using this for any type of advantage at all. Again, from here, externally rotating so my knees are above my toes. Align, pushing down from here, and squeezing, pushing up. From here, tight core, put yourself here, here. Make sure your butt stays in the back of the bench. Hey, yo, don't forget, Muscle Masochist and Iron Sharp's Iron T-shirts and tank tops are on sale, 25% off. Go there right now, get it. I'm about to be a Muscle Masochist right now. If you don't know what that is, willingly inflicting pain yourself through training. I try not to use a belt for this. Um, I've been trying not to use one, so I haven't used one in a long time. I used to, but now I don't, because I have this to help me with stabilization as well too. So I'm used to pin myself in here for leverage. Painful. Oh. Fuck me. 
<sighs> Heart rate, dead. Active rest, no matter how hard your set is, slowly get up and walk around. Let the lactic acid kind of mellow because you sit in your back and let that creep up to you and blah, and you puke. There's way more science behind the reason why, but make it simple, try to keep your head above your waist if you're feeling like nauseous. Don't. God, that's, that suck, it suck, it suck. Do that, don't be like, oh, I'm tired of shit. Blah, blah. How's that happens? All right, we go from here to um, half hack. We're gonna make the half hack a, a lunge. Like a Bulgarian split swap. So I'm gonna go lighter, obviously, because we're in a vulnerable spot. The machine's great. We just don't wanna put too much tension on our groin or adductors, anything that we need to. So I'll show you. Come on over. Come on. Come on. Do good, do great, and they talk bad on you. No need, no face, cause they're not factual. No, no, no. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through. I might hit the bank and get a bag or two. My mama asked me why you got that cash room. Second you switch up, they might get mad at you. No, you're not my friend, so no, I'm taxing you. You are like my sons, I'm going dad on you. Good job, get my no prob. Hit my line, you're irking me. I hit that woosa. No, I don't got perks on me. I sleep good on God. Spend that money, make it reappear. Okay, so we're on half hack machine. Like I guess probably I've seen a few of these machines in some gyms, so I might as well go over this. But it's basically it's perfectly protecting the lumbar part of your spine. So it's keeping that part active, or I, I would say like protect in a sense, if you're lever for your seat. While you engage your core, everything also stays here. So a lot of times we're going to be doing this kind of stuff, but also don't want to sit back here, wrench your back back like this either. So staying in a good position, neutral. Now, this machine is great because it's going to give you a crazy amount of hip and knee flexion. So in terms of like getting our glutes involved in this as well too, again, we need hip flexion. So right now we're not completely um, extended in a sense. So pro completely extended is this. So the glute, the butt helps you climb. So you put your foot up like this, your butt helps you do this, right, with your hip. Then also your quad helps you, you know, straighten your knee out and your hamstring helps bend your knee, right? So from here, we want this to be used. So the higher, the more of this gets, gets, uh, gets bent, that flexion here, the more extension happens, the more glutes. So doing this half shit doesn't really work, right? Wow, anyway, so this is bullshit. So from here, good machine, this can help you with your glutes as well too, even though it's a half hack, people think just because it's a hack squat, it's only for your quads, it's not. So first thing we're gonna do with this, we're gonna turn this into a Bulgarian split squat. So this is already heavy as is. Foot's gonna go back relaxed from here, right? And I want a favor. Just like I do any kind of lunge, I wanna shift my weight to this hip. Just like you walk, you shift your weight, right? From here, keep your hips in the middle, and bending down from here, unracking it first, and from down, to here, and then pressing up, right? So we get crazy amount of hip flexion from here, and this great knee aligned with the toe from here, which is awesome. From here, I'm pushing up, right? Stay here, then we can open the toe a tiny bit too, a little bit, put a little more emphasis here. Remember, extremely rotate, so our line, knees align with our toes, down, push, 15 of those. Take a quick break because my fucking ass is on fire, as well as my quads, as well, too. And hands. So, with this machine, hack squats, any squat, if dorsal flexion mobility is the issue, get yourself some squat shoes. Same thing on the other side. Foot's back, underneath, right? That's hyperextension. You want activation. From here, down, squeeze. I can lower that for a little bit more because I don't need to go over my toe. Think 
the Lord when I wake. I've been sleeping like a baby because I know my paper straight. When you're doing unilateral exercises, do take as much time between each actual lift. So like if you do one arm, one leg first, that's considered a set in a sense, set within a set. So take your breaks, so your heart calms down so you can do the next set. As you see, I'm so gasping at that one set. So I jump to the next set, heart's gonna be only a quarter of the recovery before I do an actual set again. Don't just jump right into the next when you're doing unilateral movements. Make sure you subscribe to the channel guys, hit the notification button as well too. And if you like the video so far, hit that like button. You better like it. I'm not doing these sets for you, but I'm doing these sets for you. By the way, my heart rate was 150, it was now 117. So we're gonna finish off, we're gonna do um, super set with lying dumbbell hamstring curls with dumbbell standing Romanian deadlifts. So back and forth, 15 reps each, bam. If it's super easy, we're obviously gonna go up. If it's, not, if it's hard, we're gonna go down. I'm just assuming it's gonna be, I don't know, whatever. We're gonna bang it out, give you some tips. So watch this, watch the form, listen to the tips. Okay, so we're getting down. You wanna basically kind of find yourself over top of the weight. Keep yourself up, keep take yourself a peek back. But what we want to do is we want to be plantar flex our feet, so our bottom of our feet is basically putting, planting up, right? Sneak your foot underneath and you'll be able to feel the weight there in the arch of your feet. Then you're going to keep that plantar flex and you're going to pull yourself up, right? From here, head down, plantar flex, so toes pointed all the way down, controlling and pulling up, toes pointed. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna follow it with dumbbell RDLs. So here, remember, chest up, shoulders down, depression, hinging hips back. Keep them riding back, bend knees a bit. Then we can start bending a bit. Keep your chest up, pull hips forward. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah. Key points when we're hinging back. We're gonna, on the way down, continue the hips pushing back. Keep them pushing back, push back, push back until we're at that point where we can't bend. We wanna go down from here and then just bend from here. We're not doing anything here anymore. So those hips are always pushing back and then bend the knees, right? And then pulling through, hips pulling back, bending back, bending back. And big thing is you want to try and keep those hips on the ground the entire time. Don't let your butt come off, come up, or make a bunch of space right in your hip. You want to push your hips to the ground, engaging straight through. Go hard, but go home. 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 Touchdown like the end zone. When the circle turn to my home, can't get me out of my zone. Go hard, go hard, go home, go hard, go hard, go go go, go home. Yeah, these championship rings on my hands now. In my head, I'm top ten. Yeah, it's hands down. All right, guys, that is it today for Train With Me. Guys, hope you enjoyed the work. Hope you guys stay through the entire thing so we can get, so get all those tips and cues and techniques. Hope you guys optimize your leg training. This is a little majority of everything in the mix, guys, so follow along in the description below. I'll have the entire workout for you guys. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, become a little like it is transparent and vulnerable truth. And guys, hit those descriptions. Hit that description below. Hit all those links that'll help save your life or change your life for the better. Get my ebook. 
Sign up for the emails as well too. Ebook emails, get them now, ASAP. Also, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Send me your progress pics, your training clips, and your video clips, and I'll repost it for you guys because you know how it is. Iron Shepherds, Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.